Welcome to Paraphrase, a secure web-based translation management system. Paraphrase is a translation productivity tool for those who need to produce fast, confidential, high-quality translations for their company or organization at minimal cost. It's important to note that Paraphrase does not replace human translation. In fact, no software on the market could do that yet. However, Paraphrase gists even the bulkiest translations at lightning speed using machine translation technology. The user is then required to edit the translation by either using their own human translation skills or inviting a bilingual colleague to collaborate on the translation within Paraphrase. Paraphrase puts professional translation technology into the hands of busy executives and people who need to produce translations for their teams, saving their companies time and money. Anything that could potentially be confusing to a non-professional translator was hidden on the back end of Paraphrase, so our users can focus on only what requires their input, translation editing. The Paraphrase API adds value to your application by offering an unparalleled translation experience. This includes encrypted translations, translated file formatting preservation, and a system that learns the user's words and phrases. These features save significant time and money on user translation projects. All the features we discuss in the video today are available in the Paraphrase API. As I walk you through Paraphrase, keep in mind that Paraphrase uses machine translation for the basic gisting of the translation. Then, it uses color coding to indicate the quality of the translation. Red indicates basic machine translation, which is the lowest quality translation. The color will be yellow or green to indicate medium and high quality translations. These higher quality translations are returned when you and your team use translation editing within Paraphrase. When a user edits translations and saves them in their translation memories, their translations improve over time. As you'll see when we translate the snippet of text from English to Dutch, the output is red. This indicates pure machine translation output. The more someone uses Paraphrase, the better it gets at learning their words and phrases. This reduces time spent on future translations. I'll demonstrate this by uploading a PDF and a PowerPoint for simultaneous translation. I come down here to select the source language and the output language, otherwise known as the target language. Then I choose the two documents. See, I'm selecting a PDF and a PowerPoint. I click Open, and when the upload finishes, I click Translate. PDF and PowerPoint are just two of 22 file types compatible with Paraphrase. Other file types include Excel spreadsheets, Word docs, InDesign files, HTML, and XML files. After having clicked the Translate button, I navigate over to the Active Documents tab, which is where we are now. As I open up the translated PDF, I get taken to the translation editor. This is where translations are to be edited segment by segment and then saved using the save and exit button, which then puts the translation into the user's translation memories. Down here, you'll see segment history. Whenever someone in your organization edits a segment, it'll track that edit by name and timestamp, and it'll show you exactly what edit was made. In order to make an edit, you just click on a segment and enter the text. Then you click save and exit. You'll see under segment history, it shows that I had made this edit, what exactly I changed, and at exactly what line it was changed in the date and time. This makes collaboration really easy. Let's take a look at our PowerPoint translation. We'll download the original as well as the translation to compare them side by side. Opening up the original, you'll see that on the title slide, there's an image that contains text. Now, on the translated file, this actually won't be translated because it's within an image. However, as we look at these other slides, 
we'll see that this text segment here that says a welcome to paraphrase will be translated as well as all these other bullets and text segments on the other slides. The presenter notes will actually also be translated. So it's important to take note of that. Opening up our translation, this is the PowerPoint that's been translated into Dutch. You'll see, as I mentioned before, that the text on this image in the title slide hasn't been translated. However, on these title slides that say welcome to paraphrase, that's been translated as well as all the bullets on these other slides. And you'll see that the images have actually been retained. So nothing has been broken. When we look at the presenter notes, you'll see that these have actually been translated as well. Paraphrase also allows you to get audio support, meaning that you can get text-to-speech translations in 18 languages. This means that a user can take a video script, translate it, edit it, and get a voiceover in MP4 and WAV files for their videos in 18 different languages. You can choose a gender and you can choose the format. It's up to you. Paraphrase enables users to collaborate quickly and effectively with their colleagues to create quality translations. In order to do so, the gear icon must be selected and then the user must come down to share. Once they click share, they enter the colleague's email address and then they click share and then the colleague will receive an email notifying them that they are invited to translate this document with their colleague and that they can access it through paraphrase. This is only available for people who actually are given permission to access that organization's account. Here on this window, you'll see that the window will list the people that the document is currently shared with. When you collaborate on a translation, it is important for you and your colleague to always share it via paraphrase rather than downloading the file and sending it as an attachment via email. The reason for this is that if your colleague does not edit the file within paraphrase, these edits do not get saved into your translation memories. Files need to be edited within paraphrase and edits need to be saved in order to, for paraphrase to learn your words and phrases. This will significantly reduce future translation production time. Let's revisit what sets Paraphrase apart from other cloud translation software. Paraphrase places a strong emphasis on security with an encrypted translation experience for translating files and snippets of text. Paraphrase will never share, index, or publish any of your data. Extra security such as two-factor authentication and a private cloud are also available. Once again, Paraphrase is a productivity tool and does not replace human translation. Paraphrase puts professional translation technology into the hands of busy executives and people who need to produce translations for their teams, saving their companies time and money. In addition, many machine translation solutions do not provide the user any insight into the confidence of the translation given. Paraphrase does provide this insight. That being said, Paraphrase is a solution to be used in supplement to human translation. It will cut out 50% of the time involved producing a translation file. This frees up time to focus on the human element, properly translating the intent and tone of the content. If you'd like to access the Paraphrase API, the cost is .005 cents per word translated. Just come on over to the API tab where my cursor is, and when you click it, you'll receive documentation and your API token after signing up for a paid Paraphrase account. If you have any questions, please contact us at info at paraphrase.com.